that's disgusting. All right, we're gonna keep this intro nice and short because I usually film the green screen stuff at the end. And um, we've already unleashed the smell demons. So yes, I was browsing the internet again and I found yet another smell that I wanted to experience. And this smell is butric acid. It is a smell that is supposed to be repulsive. It commonly occurs in things like vomit and cheese. I'm not gonna ruin the smell for you, so let's just get into it. Alrighty. Okay, so today we are doing a reaction. It's very similar to one we've done in the past. If you watch the Jack Daniels to Vinegar, it's sort of a similar procedure. Anyways, to start out, we're going to have, uh, this is like 125 mils of water. Uh, with sodium hydroxide dissolved in it. I think it was two grams of sodium hydroxide and we're going to go ahead and add 20 milliliters of one butanol Now immediately pouring this into this little beaker. I gave it a little whiff and it smells disgusting. It's sort of like a very weak like drinking alcohol mixed with like black licorice. It's it's not great um, Yeah Yeah, so immediately we're starting to notice they're not missable. There's some mixing going on, but you'll notice it's, it's quite foggy. That's because as you start to go up with the carbon chains, like ethanol dissolves in water very well, then propanol a little bit, and then butanol is not very soluble in water. Anyways, what we're going to do next is we're going to take this, um, this little honey ham container, and we're going to cool down the solution so part of the reason we're cooling it is because potassium permanganate is quite a violent oxidizer. If you let it go out of control, it'll start to rip stuff apart at really high temperatures in ways that you don't want it to. Um, you can sort of avoid this by using other oxidizing agents, but the chromium ones are like a horrible yellow cancer juice that I don't want to mess with. So we're just gonna add some water. And I don't have any ice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside and we're going to get some ice, because fortunately it is winter. Alright, we've returned with some uh, reagent grade lab snow. Alright, so I got you guys a little closer so you can witness all the action. The temperature is reading about 5-ish degrees Celsius right now. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of potassium permanganate. Now this reaction is going to get really hot really fast. So that's why we have all the cooling and stuff like that. But you'll notice that the color went from purple to blue and then it should go to brown. That is a changing of the oxidation states of the potassium permanganate. This is actually a really useful indicator because this tells us whether or not the potassium permanganate is all used up yet. So what's happening here is we have the 1-butanol which is being oxidized into butanol the aldehyde form, which is then oxidized to the butanoic acid, or the disgusting vomit smell that we're going for. Some oxidizing agents will only go up one step to the aldehyde, but because potassium permanganate is such a violent oxidizer, it basically just goes straight to the carboxylic acid. There's no hard and fast rule on what the temperature should be, but for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna say keep it around five degrees. I should also note that the smell is not shifting to a disgusting uh, vomit smell yet. Um, that might be because the butanoic acid is a salt. Because there's sodium hydroxide in there, the solution is basic, which means that any carboxylic acids that are formed will automatically be in their salt form. That's okay though, because it's actually gonna make the separation a lot easier for us. All right, so we're back, and I've been slowly adding potassium permanganate little by little, trying to hold the temperature around five degrees. The highest it ever got was about 10. So from here, we're going to stop stirring. And we're going to check to make sure it's all brown. Yeah, it looks pretty brown. Alrighty, now we filter off the manganese dioxide, the brown byproduct. What is wrong with you? Why are you blue? Alright, so you may notice it's a little blue. Uh, that's likely because it's still cold and it hasn't finished oxidizing all the way yet. So we're going to let it heat up a little bit and hopefully that finishes all the oxidization. And we'll do another filtration if necessary, but if not, we're just going to run with it because we're just in it for the smell anyways. 
I find it kind of odd that we still keep pulling off manganese dioxide. We're just going to let that sit there for a little bit and uh, we'll come back when all the manganese dioxide settles out. Alrighty, so it looks like the manganese dioxide has sort of settled to the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and decant off the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and boil off the remaining water and one propanol. And that'll leave behind the uh, sodium butrate, which is the salt form of the butric acid we're trying to make. Okay, we're back, and uh, I don't really smell anything. There was sort of a smell with like the butanol boiling off, um, but now that it's just a salt, I don't smell anything. People say online that the salt has a smell. Uh, I don't know if that is only when there's like water involved or what exactly, but I don't, I'm not smelling anything. So, I mean, yeah, not really. So for the final step, we're going to add some sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid doesn't really have a smell. So it should reprotonate or put the hydrogen back on to the sodium benzoate, giving us the uh, butyric acid. And get ready for the smell. Not really smelling much, but it is in a fume hood. Let's go ahead and add the remainder. Oh! <laughs> That's disgusting! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna... <laughs> I'm sorry! Okay, yeah, that smells like... <sighs> this is just reeks of like Parmesan cheese. I, I'm not getting vomit. I'm not getting vomit. I'm not gonna put my nose in there, cause, whoa. But that is like a strong Parmesan cheese smell. That is, oh my God, that is cheesy. Holy cow. Let's put that down a little more. Well, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> that oh I'm not displeased with that that was uh, that was an experience I, I expected less but I uh, wow <laughs> what a fun compound <laughs> usually I do a little conclusion where I give it a little whiff this is the conclusion I don't want to take it out of there um, that's disgusting <laughs> So to conclude, yes, this has this has very strong Parmesan sort of uh, the cheese that you get at the restaurant where it's like in that little thing and it smells like feet. It smells like a lot like that. Very gross. Uh, this cleanup is going to be uh, not very fun. <laughs>